right, let's go ahead and get into the story. <clears throat> Lion, perfect timing. You're just the person I wanted to see. Might I ask you a favor? I can, thank you very much. So I found some data in the library with some old recipes. And well, there's one I, I just have to make. Ooh, little background, little kitchen. The happy taste of pie. There's just one little problem. I know what I wanna make, but I don't know where to get the ingredients. Would you mind showing me around the shops? I'm a great cook, by the way. Always have been. You can count you can count on something delicious, Lion. There will be a piece with your name on it. Um, let's see. Okay, what's the recipe? Well, the recipe is for venison pie. And I've made it before, but you know, for so in case someone doesn't know, venison is like deer meat. I don't know, yeah, that doesn't sound good to me. <laughs> To tell the truth, I've never done, I've never done any shopping in Alice by myself, and there are a lot of shops in Alice, right? Things have changed so much since my time that I haven't the spares the faintest idea who sells what. I don't know where to even begin with venison. That's where you come in. Would you show me somewhere I can get some, please? Um, is your sister coming too? Oh, God. See, she's going to be so overprotecting and, like, glaring at us in the background. Like, bitch, go, get away from my sister. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> no, no, you're very considerate, but... My sister won't be coming today. I told her I want to go with you, Lion. So she's giving me some space. Oh, God. Oh, no. Did she look this way? Is she on to me? <laughs> What could they be talking about? She's with lions, so I doubt they'll do anything reckless, but wait, where are they going? <laughs> you share everything. No, y y you look a bit on edge. Everything's fine. Honestly, she's overprotective. Uh, she's just overprotective. Sorry, please don't mind her. I'm sure no one would be so rude as to follow us uninvited, so don't worry. <laughs> Not her throwing out the hints like, bitch, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Rude? Gareth will be angry with me if I follow. She'd hate me. Ugh. I'm counting on you, Lion. Don't take my little sister anywhere dangerous. I won't forgive you if anything happens to her. Um, I don't really know what to say. I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry, as long as everything's okay. You're right, it'll be fine. It's just shopping. Nothing dangerous can happen, right? My sister's just a worrier. Looks like she really did give up this time, though. I'm glad I asked you to help, Lion. My sister knows me being with Lion means I'm in good hands. I'm sure of it. Let's head out then. I'm looking forward to this. Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> um, I pulled the best attacker in the game and not even kidding. People are still... Oh, wow. Nice, dude. She'll come to you with guns and swords. Exactly. <laughs> wow, there are so many shops. And it's just colors everywhere. You never would have seen such a flood of color back in my day. I don't know where like, Gareth is from, like where that comes from. I have no idea the history on that name. Okay, so which of these shops sells meat? That one's for dining? What's a parfait? It's in, <laughs> it's in a tall glass, but it doesn't look like any drink I know. There are so many fruits inside. Um, how about, there's a butcher shop over there. Huh? Oh, you found the right place? My apologies, I got distracted. Let's see if they have venison. Hello, I'm looking for some venison. Looks like we were out of luck. They had some deer meat, but not the kind that I need. When I made the pie before, I used roe deer. That shop didn't have any. Um, let's see. I'll do a quick search. Oh, thank you. So I should have mentioned this earlier. I just thought it would be easy to find. Any results? You found something? Let me see. Hmm, the road deer was once on the verge of extinction. No digital copy of the food source has been preserved. This can't be. It's no longer available. Uh, can you use another type of deer? Alice Records... No, Alice Records... I can't talk. 
Alice rec Alex records. I keep, I keep wanting to say records. There we go. Alice records flavor data so accurately that using different ingredients will change the flavor profile. Having the correct ingredients is vital. But if we must, I'll just have to do. I'll have to make do and test out a different type of venison. Thank you for bringing me here today. I really appreciate it. I'll go and buy that meat now. I swear, bro. Ooh, okay. I like this track. The help of a druid. Ooh, it's a cute background. I like this. It's her bedroom. Um, let's see. Are there really no road deer left anywhere? Hey, lion. <laughs> Whoa, you scared me. Why are you frowning so much? Worried about something? You've been like this since you got back. Where'd you go with Gareth, huh? She said she'd ask you to go with her, lion, and didn't want me to come along. I bet something bad happened. You know you can tell me, right? Gareth won't say a word. We usually do everything together. Come on, spill it. Where'd you go? What'd you do? What happened? Whoa, calm down. Come on, what's the deal? Quit lagging. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. I can't, bro. Shopping? Bro, venison. She asked me where to get some, and you showed her around the shopping district? Really? That's it? Oh, she asked where to get some. I thought. But why? I always go, go and buy everything she asked for. To tell the truth, I've never done any shopping in Alf by myself. That's right, she did say that. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you've had an epiphany. You sure are strange. Never mind. Wait, so no one was selling raw venison? None of them? Really? I guess that's what you I guess that that's what you got. I guess that's what's got you so worried. Yo, today's not my day to read. It's not the day. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I was wondering how I might get some. You get it from Ro Deer. What else? I could have just gone and hunted some for you if there are any nearby. You checked the shops, but did you check the wild? I wonder where roe deer live. I'll solve your problem with a little hunting. But there aren't any roe deer in Alice. Oh, none at all, huh? Well, if that's the case, then I wonder if we can make some. Let's go see. What do you mean by make some? We're going to see Marilyn. I don't really, I don't like relying on her, but her magic might do the trick. Come on now, you want to help Gareth, right? If so, come and help convince Marilyn. Mer I keep saying Marilyn, Merlin. God, bro, today is not my day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was her name, Merlin. That was the girl in the, in the world memory. Oh, that means she's probably going to be a character at some point. If she's got a portrait like this, she's probably going to be a character. That's really cool. Oh my, a photo of the new researcher and her, and her superior. Simply divine. You hear Merlin? What? Ah, uh, Gawain. What's got you so panicky? Nothing at all. I was only working, working hard. You can vouch for me, right, contractor? She was oogling. <laughs> she was ogling the ladies from the institute. Ooh, not Merlin confirmed lesbian. <laughs> We'd love to see it. <laughs> Thought so. Well, it's no skin off my back. Just stay away from Gareth. If you're not careful, you'll wind up buried underground again. I like her outfit. Like, it's very casual. It's like the jacket because, you know, everyone has to have a jacket in Alice Fiction. And a little cute little pink purse. It's nice. Your overprotected attitude towards your sister is wonderfully predictable. Anyhow, I'd appreciate it if you turned a blind eye to what you just saw. What are you two doing here today? But by the look of things, Contractor isn't here entirely of his own will. It's urgent. We need you to work your magic, Merlin. Gareth needs you. So Merlin's gonna probably already be confirmed special attacker. <laughs> um, if it's for the lovely Gareth, then how can I refuse? But if, but this is unlike you, Gawain. You don't usually ask me for favors. I'm definitely not here because I want to be. Your last, <laughs> your last ditch solution, and I'll make mincemeat of you if you go anywhere near Gareth. How cruel you are, Gawain. 
but I suppose that's nothing new. Let's hear this request of yours, then. Well, Gareth wants some roe venison, but it doesn't exist in Alice. I thought you might be able to conjure some up. You want me to conjure some de roe deer? It doesn't have to be alive. Gareth wants it for a recipe, so just the meat is fine. Oh, I see. You want me to create some ingredients for you. Quite interesting, quite interesting indeed. Can you do it? Summoning an entire deer that has no AI equivalent in Alice would be very difficult. But if it's just a hunk, but if it's just a hunk of meat, it's hardly out of the question. I should be able to recreate the venison you want if I have enough data to work with. Even if it's fragmented, data that's not an exact match should work too. Really? You're not so bad after all, Merlin. No wonder you're a legendary wizard. Well, I am still the world's greatest druid. So much talent wasted on a crappy personality and creepy behavior. <laughs> couldn't it <have> put, <laughs> couldn't it put that a little nicer? Mm, I'll let it slide for Gareth's sake. You can tell me some things about the roe deer, can't you, Gawain? Tell me what you know. Well, I used to eat roe venison a lot. I'd hunt the deer and bring it back, and Gareth's eyes would just light up. Gareth would make pies and stews, and no, hold on. Gareth would make pies and stews too. I think. She's always been an excellent cook, so everything she made was very delicious. Okay, but I need more specific details. How did it taste? What was the texture, color, shape? How did it taste? I just said it was delicious. <laughs> when Gareth makes food, it's like magic. Nobody else cooks like her. My mouth's watering just thinking about it. None of that makes for a useful data. <laughs> I'm afraid this woman won't help us, contractor. To recreate the ingredient, I require much more concrete data. Um, maybe there's some in the waste area. Yeah, there may be something in the waste area. Go and find a place that resembles the deer's habitat. Huh? We're going to the waste area? Alright then, let's head out. We'll be back with the info before you know it. Come on, Lion, time to make Gareth happy. <laughs> Yo, if we get Merlin soon, I might pull for her. I, I like her design. <laughs> I, I like Merlin. <laughs> it was a nice background too. We just get we just be getting good ass art in this game, bro. Hmm, this seems right. It looks like the forest I used to hunt in. Let's collect some data around here. Oh, by the way, the forest is pretty dangerous, so keep your guard up. Speaking of, <laughs> you didn't even look at what you struck down. That's not important right now. Gar Garrus waiting. Get searching. Move it. Yo, not her being pushy. Gareth's trial and error. We're back, and we have some nice fresh deer meat. You sure were quick about it. No pawns or anything gave you trouble? Well, the worst, well, the worst pawns are pawns everywhere, and we could barely move without bumping into one, but none of them were a match for me. Oh, there was a big one though, I guess. About the size of a bear at most. I sent it flying before I got a good look at it. They sure had some nerve trying to keep Gareth waiting like that. Don't you think, Lion? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> ah, I see what happened. The poor wretches were utterly pulverized. I almost pity them. What are you asking about them for anyway? We gather the materials, hurry up and get to work already. Patience, patience. I trust my magic will work to a certain extent, but I'd like I'd still like to consult with the director or Momochi first. Consult? What for? Well, we're calling it magic, but what I'm actually trying to do is create something that doesn't exist in Alice. We need to make sure we aren't violating the terms of service, and we also must receive official approval that the new Roe Venison data is sound. This is my first time attempting something like this, after all. I wouldn't want my creation to result in a glitch or a bug. Understood. Director Soga Omomoshi, right? I'll go grab one of them. There's no need to be in such a hurry. We don't know if there's enough data here to perform the magic yet. <clears throat> Should I look for more? That might be best. I might not succeed in the first attempt, so it might so it won't hurt to have more material to work with. Would you mind collecting a little more for me? I'll let Gawain know what's going on. <clears throat> oh, and don't tell Gareth about this yet, alright? We wouldn't want to get our hopes up only to disappoint her if we fail. No, a face so lovely and angelic should be spared any look of despair. Then again, I could be the gentle balm to her wounded heart. Oh my god, not fucking Merlin a perv too. 
Uh, it's like, I, <laughs> I should go check on Garath. Oh, uh, I can't. Oh, oh, how Gareth would bring beauty to her melancholy. Come closer, dear Gareth. I can't. Not her talking to herself. Ooh, these screens are nice. Okay, art, let's go. Um, that's not right. And this seasoning, no, and this seasoning's all wrong too. Oh, Lion, you came all this way to see me? Yeah, how's everything going? Well, the pie is done, but something's still not quite right. Oh, that's the full. There we go. I gotta stop doing that. This always happens. I'll, like, screenshot the first one, and then the, it get, zooms out afterwards. And I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> I mean, it tastes similar, but it's not exactly as I remember it. The flavor data of these virtual ingredients is just too accurate. I can't seem to recreate the same flavors from my memories. Mm, sounds tough. But I'm almost but I'm also testing out different spices that should hopefully compensate for the meat. So I haven't given up yet. It was kind of you to check up on me though, so I'll be sure to treat you to some when when it's done. Uh thanks, that sounds great. I'm glad. I can't wait for you to taste it, Lion. I'm getting fired up just thinking about it. I haven't been in the kitchen in a long time, so all this trial and error is actually kind of fun. That said, though, I'm determined to bring the pie back from my memories, and I'll do what I can to make that happen. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I better go look for more data. Sisters just miss one another. I don't. I don't think it's that way. I think it's just one-sided. <laughs> Lion, just who I was looking for. <clears throat> I just heard from Merlin, and she said she conjured up some real venison. Since you helped make this happen, you gotta be there to try some of Gareth's pie. Let's go. <clears throat> Merlin, Merlin, y y you really made it, Merlin? Yes, yes, I did, indeed. No need to get so worked up about it. <clears throat> I checked the terms of service, by the way, and they wouldn't have allowed a live roe deer. It's fortunate we only needed the meat. <clears throat> Even if, even that seems to have restrictions, though. It appears you need to follow some complicated procedures to be able to sell or, dis or distribute it. But we're okay because we're just eating inside the institute, right? Correct. The venison is for our personnel use, our personal use only, so I accept responsibility for its creation. Since I asked you to make the stuff, I'll take responsibility for it. Anything for grass. Well, to be on the safe side, I have Mochi verify the data. He didn't find any issue, so it seems safe to use. In the end, it wasn't too difficult since the two of you collected more than enough material to work with. Oh yeah? Lion? Wait, oh yeah, Lion. Merlin told me you collected extra material. Thanks for, so much for that. Yeah, I believe the extra data really helped put the finishing touches on the venison. I am the druid Merlin, though, so it's only natural the final product is superb. Yeah, yeah, you're great. We get it. You were a big help this time. So where's the meat? Over there. Shall we Shall we go together and, and deliver it to Gareth now? Oh my god, here we go. Knowing her, I'm sure she'll want to show her appreciation for me and my creation somehow. What should, I, what should I ask her for? Maybe this? Ooh, maybe that? I can't. <laughs> Not on my watch! <laughs> Oh, she like knocked her out. Don't get carried away just because you were useful. No perv is going anywhere near Gareth. You can cool off here for a while. <laughs> Whoa, she... <laughs> is she going to be all right? There's no need to pity her, Lion. I'll save some pie for her to eat later. Now let's go and bring this to Gareth. <laughs> yeah, she knocked Merlin out. <laughs> Gareth, guess what big sis brought you home? Huh? Where is she? Weird. She was here cooking this whole time, right? Um, what's this message? Huh? Let me see that. I've gone to the waste area for some ingredients. Waste area? All by herself? Gareth! <laughs> Hold on, Gawain. Let's go. Boss time. Gareth, where are you, Gareth? Is she over here? Can we find her with, with location data? Um, let's see. Calm down, let's contact Gareth first. 
Yeah, you're right. I got so worried I completely forgot we can just call. Why won't she answer? Something really has happened. This is horrible. We gotta find her. Why is her location data taking so long to load? Um, think carefully. Where would Gareth have gone? Huh? Oh, right. Gotta calm down and think. Gareth isn't stupid. She wouldn't go to the waste area without some sort of plan. Which means there's only one place she can be. She must have gone to the forest. The one we collect... The one we collected the road deer data from. Looks like her location data points there, too. I knew it. Come on, let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on, where are you going? I can't just stand by while Gareth is being surrounded by pawns. That one pawn is massive. She can't handle all of them by herself. Um, let's go help. You don't have to tell me twice. Hey, you stinking pawns. Get away from Gareth. Big sis? They're going down. No one lays a hand on my sister and gets away with it. <laughs> We do love a good one turn finish. Nostalgic flavor. I'll hold them down. Finish them, big sis. You got it. This is for attacking Gareth. Ooh. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought something was going to come. <laughs> Phew. We did it. On point as always, big sis. Ooh. Glad that's over with. You all right, Gareth? Yeah, I'm fine. But Big Sis, Lion, uh, we're okay. Thank you for helping. Sorry I caused all this trouble. You should be. They're just ingredients for crying out loud. Why'd you risk your neck for something so silly? The waste area is dangerous. I warned you not to go anywhere like that by yourself. Really, I was really, really worried. Worried I was going to lose you and not be there for you. Going through that once was more than enough. Oh. I wonder, is the lore like that for Gareth and Gawain? Like, I didn't know they were actually siblings. And I guess maybe, like, Gareth died at some point in time back in the day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. Um, let's see. Things turned out all right, so why not forgive her? Lion, I really am sorry. I shouldn't have come out here on my own. Ugh, Lion, you're such a softie. <laughs> I'm not the one who went out of their way for a gift. Oh, wait. <laughs> you decided to literally patch together meat for her. That was nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with this. What's wrong is wrong. You can't just throw yourself into danger like that. You're right. I'm sorry. You really won't do anything like this again? Well, here then. Take it. I made this roe venison for you. What? You knew about the venison? And what do you mean, you made it? I asked Merlin to make it for you. She used the material Lion and I collected to recreate authentic roe deer meat. She did? That's amazing, thank you so much. 
the two of you did the two of you did all this for me oh and merlin too i need to thank her as well no need i'll let her know you said thanks <laughs> make sure you keep your distance <laughs> oh poor merlin uh, yeah i think that's best <laughs> oh okay well that's what you think lion anyway we better get out of here quick before more pawns show up Oh, right. I'll start cooking as soon as we get back. <laughs> Smells delicious. You really are a, a sight to behold when you're cooking, Gareth. But I'm still not happy about what you did. This is a temporary truce, you hear? Later, you're going to tell me exactly why you put yourself in such a dangerous... Here it is, fresh venison pie. My mouth's watering just looking at it. Hang on, is this... It sure is. This pie was your favorite, right? It was. I loved it back then. Oh wait, I think it mentioned wanting to eat it recently. That's right. You had it once before here in Alice, but I didn't taste. But it didn't taste how you remembered it. You were disappointed and thought maybe the old recipe was lost forever. So all this was for me? Because I said I wanted to eat it again? I barely even remember saying that. You did all this for me? Gareth, oh Gareth, you're just too good. You should have told me sooner. I would have collected as many ingredients as you wanted any hour of the day. Sorry, big sis, I wanted it to be a surprise. Ugh, well, you got your wish. I'm so happy I could get up and do a jig right now. Please don't. She did? Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that, big sis. Me too, me too. I appreciate all you've done as well, Lion. To think you were out gathering material for the road deer while I was cooking. Um, let's see. It's nice to see you happy. Thank you so much. Please have some too, Lion. I hope you like it. All right, you have to have some too, Lion. Garrett's stuff is always delicious. Come on, let's dig in. Down the hatch. All right. How is it? See, I was gonna hit the button, but I knew better this time. It's perfect, just like I remember. I'm in heaven. This is the pie you used to make, Gareth. I didn't think I'd ever get to eat it again. You're the best. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's delicious. Really? <laughs> it was all worth the effort. Now I can make it whenever you want. Yeah, thanks to Gareth. Anytime, big sis. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. That was cute. A, a, a nice little story. I liked it. 